Guruji, how to remain Sakshi for all <laughs> times? You don't have to remain Sakshi. You are Sakshi. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, Guruji, yes. The problem is, but, uh, you are always Sakshi. Okay? Yeah, Guruji. See, all of us are Sakshi. The problem is the ego or the mind which comes and plays a role. Plays. So, who are you, Dr. Vipin? Sakshi. Vipin is Sakshi only, already. Yes. Okay. Now, yes, between Sakshi and what I am at a given point of time, I am getting disturbed. That means I am not Sakshi. Now, this is coming from the ego. Correct, sir. Okay? So, yes, sir. There's the ego at play and there's Sakshi. Sakshi is always undisturbed. Even ego yes, goes Guruji. to hell also, Sakshi is undisturbed. Yes, Guruji. Right? So now, yes. the question is, who are you? Are you the ego or Sakshi? The moment you say, I am not Sakshi, that means you have identified with the ego. Correct. Correct? Correct, Guruji. Now, the question is, how do you not identify with the ego? <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, Guruji. That is the question. I understand. Uh, the question, your question is, how do I, how do I remain as Sakshi is not a question. Yes. How do I not? Do I not? Yes. How do yes. I not get dragged by ego? Correct, Guruji. Correct. Okay, are we clear? Yes, yes. Ab absolutely clear, Guruji. So, our challenge is not to remain as Sakshi. Because we are yes. Sakshi. Yes. Okay. Our challenge is not getting dragged by the mind. Yes, Guruji. Yes. Are we clear? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So the problem, the problem, question has to be put in a different way. Yes, yes. Yeah, Guruji, the question is wrong. How do you remain a Sakshi is the question, wrong question. Yeah, yes, yes, it, it is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Are we clear? Yes. How yes, yes, Guru. Not get dragged by the mind. That's the question. Yes. Yes, Guru. Yes. So the answer for the question is simple. Mind is nothing but a bundle of thoughts. Is there something for the mind other than thoughts? No, no Guruji. Just Correct? bundle of thoughts. Yes. Mind is always bundle of thoughts. Correct? Correct, Guruji. So, and mind is always thoughts which are related to past or future. Yes, Guruji. Correct? Correct. So, the past or future is mind. Yes. Sakshi is always now. Okay. Ego always is based on the past or future. Yes. Correct? Correct, Guruji. So your question I have to ask, you have to translate your question. How do I not stay in the past or future? How do I stay in the present moment? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Are you clear? Mm -hmm. How do I stay in the present moment always is the question. Yes. Yeah. Rather than yes. how do I stay in Sakshi is not a question. Okay. How do I get dragged by the mind is not a question. Okay. How can I stay in the present moment all the time? Yes. Right? Yes. Is the yes, question yes. now? Yes. Yes. Okay. So then for that, how do I stay in the present moment all the time? What is there in the present moment all the time in your life? Now the present moment, uh, there is just, just right now, just this is this is this is the present moment. See, and uh, present moment is not outer. Please understand. Yes. Being yes. the present moment, not in the outer world. Yes. Present moment in your body mind complex. Okay. Hmm. That's your intimate experience, right? Body mind complex is your intimate experience. Yes, sir. In your body mind complex. Your energy is always in the present moment. Yes, Guruji. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, yes, 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 Guruji. Somewhat. See, your heart is beating, right? Yes, yes, Guruji. Heart, can it beat yesterday and not beat now? Heart is no, all, no. Heartbeat is always in the present moment. Yes. Correct? Yes, Guruji. Your breath is in the present moment. Correct, Guruji. Your energy flow is in the present moment. Your blood flow yes. is in the present moment. Yes. Your body is in the present moment. Yes. Correct? Yes. So, 
to be in the present moment you have to become aware of the body breath and energy which is the present moment okay aware of the body uh, breath, breath. Okay. and energy and energy correct yes so, yes guru yes because yes. if you are aware of the body breath and energy then you will remain in the present moment so have you seen osho when he speaks right have you seen osho speaking yes yes guru so what he does he'll speak like this he'll do like this understand yes have you seen why he is doing like that no guru i don't know what he is doing he is doing hand like this once in a while he is talking uh, talking right he doesn't want yes. to get carried away by the talk he wants to break the talk and come to the present moment he looks oh. observes the energy in the hand hmm <laughs> okay moment you come okay. to energy or in the present moment okay are we clear yes yeah 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 guru yes 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 this is still yoga marga yoga marga means i am teaching you practice okay so yoga marga in was practice yes whereas in gnana marga you understand the illusion of ego and become free then there is no practice required yes guru ji are you getting saying there are two margas yeah, yes yes yoga marga and gnana marga yoga and nana okay yes both are required i am not saying one is required other is not required yes guru in yoga marga you become aware of energy often okay so what will happen that will stop you going to the past or future correct okay correct then one who is aware of the present moment experiences in the body is called sakshi okay okay so for example right now just become aware that you are sitting in the chair feel the body feel the sensation mm -hmm. okay so mm -hmm. now when you feel the body sensation mind can can it think of the past or future no so the mind and attention can be at one place at a time it cannot be two places yes so pr practice of yoga is to keep the mind in the present moment in the body first level okay okay in the, the second level of, in the body yeah. right second level of yoga marga second practice it's i'm saying next level of yoga marga is take your attention into your spinal cord and chakras and bring the attention to adna chakra stay in the adna chakra or that uh, what is called kutusta chaitanya as often as possible okay so that is called yoga marga all right okay so okay. right now when you are speaking to me also mm. you can bring your attention here adna chakra mm. yeah and be in the present moment the moment you come to the present moment your thought chain will get broken past and future will go okay but the present moment experience one who is witnessing is sakshi that's you sakshi mm -hmm. you don't have to become sakshi you are already there right guruji this is the first yoga marga mm -hmm. now in gnana marga you have to understand the falsehood of ego is there such thing called ego really no guruji no there is no ego it's the illusion there is no ego yes, there is no ego right yes it is illusion ego is not real mm -hmm. so what is ego ego is in any experience sir let us take a experience of so in any experience let us take this uh, uh, cashew nut okay hmm. are there two things called cashew nut and me is object called cashew nut and me is there yes yes guru ji it is not there <laughs> Okay. okay okay the subject object experience is a illusion it's not reality the cashew nut is there because i am seeing it seeing is the experience connecting me and cashew nut yes guruji if i don't see there's no cashew nut right yes seeing yes. is there hearing is there touching is there that experience connects both yes guruji are you clear Yes, yes, Guruji. Now let Absolutely. me ask you. 
in the experience, is there a subject and object? <clears throat> in the experience, there is subject and object. That is the question. Yeah, in the experience, is there a subject and object? Yes, Guruji, there is. No. <laughs> okay. Right? In the experience, there is no subject and object. If I remove okay. the seeing, there is no object called this thing. Hmm. Experience connects both. In the experience, there is no subject and object. Okay. I'll give you an example, okay? So this okay. is a cashew nut, right? Yes, Guruji. Where is the cashew nut starting? Where is the cashew nut ending? Cashew nut is here. It goes into my eyes. It goes into my brain. Where is the cashew nut actually? Is there a subject and object? The cashew nut is light energy. It pushes into yes, biological yes. energy. It's prana. It becomes consciousness. Can I say yes. this is cashew nut somewhere? Yeah, yeah, Guruji, yes. You can say it is there. No, I'm saying you can see it's there, but the experience is all the way from here to here. This one experience. This is one experience. Yes, yes, Guruji, yes. Experience yes. is one. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. When you are experiencing something, experience is always one. There's no duality in experience. Any experience. Okay. Experience is always one. Okay. Are you got it? Yes, yes, Guruji. I'm duality yes. comes after the experience. <laughs> Okay. Duality comes after experience. Experience yeah. is always one. Okay. Experience always, the experience and the experience are not two. Okay. You break the experience, then you give the name to call Cashinet and you call me. Mm -hmm. The Cashinet name is from the past. Me is from the past. Mm. So from the past you bring and ego says, oh, me ate the Cashinet. Yes. So the ego is not there when the experience is happening. <laughs> okay. Ego appears mm -hmm. when the experience gets over. Yes. Correct? When experience, yes, yes. When experience gets over, then ego happens. Yes. Okay. So you understand like this. Yes. Mm -hmm. All experiences are non dual. Mm -hmm. The naming happens after the experience. That naming creates the duality. Mm -hmm. Naming is from the memory. Mm -hmm. Are you getting what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yes, yes, so, yes, yes. to understand this, we have to understand the experience of a child. Child has no duality. Yes. Because child has no naming. Something moves here, something moves there, child looks like this. That's all. It's an mm -hmm. experience of energy. That's all. Mm -hmm. Okay? But mm -hmm. as you become adult, Something moving there will say its hand is moving, finger is moving like that. We will say give the name. The naming mm -hmm. brings the uh, split. Okay. Understand? Yes, yes, great. Yes, yes. So, in any experience, there are two parts mm -hmm. nameless experience and naming. Okay, nameless experience and naming. Huh. Okay. All experiences are nameless first. Yes. In the nameless experience, there's no subject object duality. Okay. Only experience is there. Yes. The naming yes. cuts the subject object duality into object and subject. Yes. And naming always is the past or future. Yes. So are we living in the reality? No, we are not. <laughs> the subject we object duality is non real. Yes. Correct? Yes, yes, good. Yes, yes. So ego always depends on data, information. Correct. Okay. To tell this is peanut, uh, this is a uh, cashew nut, I have mm. to bring from memory what is cashew nut and be super important of this. Mm. Naming is cutting the experience into two. In the experience, there's no two. Are you clear? Yes, yes. So, first, stay, learn to stay in the experience within the body mind complex. It's mm. the energy movement. Mm. So, now, in the, there are so many techniques, okay? There are so many practices, okay? I'll keep on covering mm -hmm. in the Atma Shana Shikdashan classes. Yes. But yes, one simple Guruji. way. Just become aware of your heartbeat. Okay, Guruji. Okay? Mm. Heart is beating, right? Correct. So now, if you say heart is beating, immediately you're bringing the mind. The energy is gone. Yes. <laughs> if you observe the heartbeat without thinking about it, then you are in the mm -hmm. energy. Okay, yes. Then, then I'm with the energy, yes. Then you are like a child. 
Yes. Then you are experiencing without an experiencer. Correct. Without naming. Without naming. There is no naming. Yes. So, learn to observe your energy within your body without naming. That's the principle I am trying to tell you. Okay. And in energy, always, the energy always is the flow. It will rise, it will stop, rise, stop. Correct? Mm. Energy is mm. like a wave. Mm. Energy has movement. Your heart yes, is a What is the movement? Tuck, 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 tuck. Correct? Mm. Mm. So, in the energy moment, the B2 between two tucks of the heartbeat. Mm. What is there? Between two beats of heartbeat. Tuck mm. and tuck. Between two beats, what is there? Oh, no idea, Guruji. What is there? Tuck, tuck. There's a gap, no? Yes. In the gap, what is there? Silence is there. Are you there? In the gap between two heartbeats, are you there? Yes, Guruji. You are there as observer. Yes. In the gap between two heartbeats, there's observer is there, but no observed is there. Nothing is there to observe. Silence is there. Yes, yes. There is no ob nothing observed. There's no duality there. No, there's no duality. Yes, who are, you, yes. who are you between two heartbeats? Observer. You are Brahman. <laughs> okay. Brahman, right. if there's something else, then there's a duality. Yes. If there is no duality, is yes. In between two heartbeats, you are clearly recognized yourself as Brahman. Okay. There is Brahman only. You don't have to say I am Brahman. Yeah, it is Brahman only. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Correct. Understand? Yes, yes. So, yes the presence of tuck and absence of tuck is called Anvaya and Vetirika in Sanskrit. Okay. Anvaya means presence, absence is called Vetirika. Hmm. One who is observing Anvaya and Vetirika. Hmm. It's called Sakshi because he's seeing the opposites. The duality is mm. seeing. Presence and absence. Yes. Okay. One yes, who is yes. present in Vetireka is Brahman only because there's nothing else to observe. <laughs> yes, there's nothing else. Yes, yes, correct. Yes. So now tell me how to remain stack Sakshi. Mm. Yes. Huh? Tuck, tuck and yeah. So you got it? Yeah, yeah, Guruji got it. So what is to be done? What do you have to do is to remain at Sakshi? <laughs> Guruji, the problem arises only when there is, for example, I am a teacher, I mean, I'm, when I am teaching in the class, that time the concentration is on, on what is to be taught. And that time, this this uh, Sakshitva and this concentration, it it gets disturbed, Guruji. That is the... No, that is no, 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 no. Okay. When you are teaching, right? Right now I am teaching. Okay? Yes, yes, Guruji. Yes, Guruji. Right now I am teaching. You are the student. I am a teacher. Correct, correct. Right? I'm so involved in teaching. There's no yes, teacher yes. and student. There's only teaching. If yeah. I keep on evaluating whether Dr. Opi Opipin likes my teaching, there's a student and teacher. Mm. If I am so involved in teaching, where is the where is subject and object? Yeah, Guruji, that's right. Right? Yes, yes. I, in, when, yes. I, in fact, when I'm talking to you, right, I'm not even worried whether Dr. Vipin is listening or not listening. Mm. Okay, I'm, my focus is entirely on focus on teaching. Okay. When you're focused on teaching, where is the, where is the duality? The duality comes after. So now I'll have it, oh, Dr. Vipin is listening or not, he's careful enough not, or I'm teaching properly, then duality comes. Okay. Huh? Okay. Okay, so, right. when I am teaching, there's no teacher here. There's no student there. Hmm. Teaching is happening through this body-mind complex. Okay. Where is the duality? The duality comes the moment I say, oh, I am Prabhu, I am Dr. Vipin. Then, duality comes. That's come from my memory. It's an illusion. <laughs> it's illusion. It's illusion. So, why are you bothered about illusion? Focus mm -hmm. on the reality. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, busy.
it is very simple sir you have made it you have made it very simple guruji <laughs> there's nothing complex in this in fact spirituality is the simplest possible thing yeah our mind is so complex we want some complicated magic formula of this this thing and all hmm. it's simple art of living hmm. so did you get the answer how to remain sakshi yes yes guruji yes yes okay. tell no. me now explain me tell me in few words guruji sakshi basically means that when the total involvement in a particular process is such that the doer and the uh, the work that is done it becomes one that doing means doing. that the doing is there only doing remains and the doer is not there that state is the state of sakshi which we call sakshitva no no actually that that's not sakshi uh, it's not sakshi it sakshi you are referring to when the doing is there and non doing is there both yes. anvay and vedrega is there one who is observing is called sakshi yes but when doing is there the sakshi yes. along with the body mind complex has taken that form okay it's like water has become wave okay there's no duality yeah good yes water has become wave Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So your problem is not water becoming wave. Your problem mm -hmm. is the moment wave goes back, you say I am Dr. Vipin. Duality comes mm -hmm. in picture. That time you have mm -hmm. to. That time is the Sakshi is coming into picture. Anvaya Vithreka. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you do any hundred percent, there's yes. no problem at all. We don't do hundred <laughs> percent. Yes, yes, Guru. Yes, we don't do hundred percent. Yes, <laughs> we are. If we do karma yoga fully, then mm. that's mukti, enlightenment. <laughs> yes. No, yes. no attachment to the future. No attachment to result. I am fully involved in doing. There is no doer. Then where is what is that? <laughs> mm hmm. Yes, yes, Guruji. Yes, right. Guruji. Yes, Guruji. Yes. Ah, uh, Prabhu. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Guruji. Okay, Prabhuji, this is Nikhil. Ah, Nikhil, let's yes, go ahead. Uh, so, yes. Uh, so, do you mean uh, while doing is there, uh, uh, Sakshi is fully the doer, while no, no, there is no Sakshi doing, is like Sakshi a is the non-doer. No, no, Sakshi is like a screen. Yes. When the movie is there, you can't find out what is movie and screen separation. Okay, so there is only movie. There There's is no movie. duality again. You, that, you that can't find out what again. is what is the screen and the movie when the movie is going on, right? Okay. Mm. And in the gap, there's no movie. The screen is visible. Yeah. So, so there is only screen. Ah, uh, the screen is revealed, right? Yeah, right. That's why Sakshi is defined as Anvaya and Vitireka. Presence and absence is there. One who is there in both is called Sakshi. Okay. <laughs> right. In other words, I am saying movie analogy. Mm. I'm seeing a movie. I don't know there is a screen. Then I'll say movie is real. Yeah, right. Then after the interval comes, then I see the screen. Hmm. Okay. Then movie comes again. Then I know when movie comes, also screen is there, and movie is not there, also screen is there. There's a screen yeah. is yeah. there, always. Yeah, right. So hmm. the sakshi is recognized fully in the anvaya vetireka. Hmm. When the movie is there, you cannot separate it out. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Only thing is when the movie is there. Make sure that you are fully involved. They don't bring the duality. Naming don't bring it. Get work. Do the work hundred percent. Ah, uh -huh. lovely. Got it. Mm -hmm. The moment work is over, then we we'll say, "Oh, I am Dr. Epin did. I did a good job." Then you bring the mm -hmm. Sakshi. <laughs> Remember the Sakshi observer. <laughs> yeah, good. Uh, no, but uh, I have this doubt. Sometimes, uh, uh, suppose. Uh, the movie is playing but you remember yourself as the one who is watching the movie rather than like you remember yourself as non doer so the, there is duality in that uh, uh, in that that's kind of duality, no? that's a duality so, no? but sometimes uh, i think it's also recommended somewhere it's, it's one kind of recommended practice no, where no, no. people See, this is actually you are unnecessarily bringing duality okay right Hmm. See, if you are doing some wrong thing, bring the duality to get out of that. <laughs> okay. Right. 
Uh, I think you shared a quote uh, uh, from by Nisargadatta Maharaj where he says uh, everything is happening by itself and like one knows that uh, one is not the uh, like kind of like it gives a sense of duality where one knows one is not doing anything and everything is just gunas are uh, this is also part of i think this is part of uh, uh, bhagavad gita also where it says uh, oh, no see the, the see. one who sakshi is beyond the gunas and the guna, uh, gunas play by themselves so which no. gives a sense of duality see uh, there's no duality i'll tell you okay this yeah. actually these spiritual teachings you have to take with a proper understanding otherwise it will be it will give to lead to wrong understanding mm. okay in any action please understand nikhil okay yes in any action there's no doer do you understand yes that's why it is said prakritehe kriyamanani gunai karmani sarvasha there's no doership in any action hmm. correct yeah so if you are involved in right action or service or karma yoga maybe in software development also hmm. why are you bothered about sakshi tell me there's no doer your problem is doer not not doing yeah are you clear yes your problem is doing when you are getting into wrong things maybe your wrong habit patterns hmm okay but hmm. if you are doing right thing okay the problem is not doing hmm then why are you bothered about sakshi because like sakshi and action they are one one flow okay you cannot separate with sakshi and the action that time okay are you getting what i'm saying yes right <laughs> i'll tell you in very another clear way okay hmm. sakshi is shiva and hmm. action is energy yes shakti hmm. shiva and shakti can, you cannot bring duality do you understand what i'm saying yes so are you getting what i'm saying yes so when shakti is there shiva is shakti shakti Shak- is shiva and shakti are one one reality yeah. do okay. not split up at that point of time okay okay hmm. but the problem comes when the action is broken by thoughts hmm. correct the thoughts appear yeah. okay. okay the th- action gets broken shiva and shakti get separated out in the thoughts subject and object duality comes into picture at that time become aware witness it witness the thoughts but be with the energy that's the principle okay are you getting what i'm saying okay so when division happens witness the division but be with the energy right okay so in sakshi very important to understand so when there is this thought that i am doer uh, comes huh. uh, ab- 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 observe it but be with the doing no 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 i am the doer don't even observe it are you the doer any time tell me how can you be the doer any time get it no. through get it up through nana no yeah what yeah. you have to observe tell me like see like if if such a uh, false assumption comes see it as false assumption is what i meant you it is false only no how many times you have to understand a rope is a snake a rope is a snake is not rope okay so huh? kind of understand it's false that's all <laughs> that's all no over no <laughs> okay right it is not <laughs> see if you have to do it again and again it's called yoga yeah okay mm. so dana is clarity here how many times you have to understand you are not a doer tell me okay Correct. okay huh? yeah i understand so it's it's all understanding here it's, it's not a, no. it's not any more about observing we, or, we, we, in doing there's no duality okay. in naming there's a duality the naming okay. is always from the past or future hmm. that time observe the naming and understand naming is false i have given lot of talks on how to, how to find naming is false also hmm. okay you have to go through my many talks so you understand naming is also false okay once you understand false as false there's nothing to practice actually okay you have to just leave okay yeah right see yes. nikhil nana marga is not a marga of practice yeah nana marga is crystal clear clarity yes okay understand yeah i understand it's simple way of so, saying see this snake you are afraid find out it's a rope then you don't have to repeat that oh it's a it's not a rope it's not a snake you don't have to do it hmm. the clarity so the moment you say i have to do it you are bringing yoga okay okay are you getting yeah. what i'm saying yes 
So if you are if you are not come to that level, get the teaching mm. properly from a guru, clear clarity, so that the adnana gets cut, 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 cut. Mm. Okay. Right. That's called dana mm. What is cut doesn't grow. Yeah. If it grows, it's yoga marga. Okay. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes. Yes, I understand. Okay. Okay. So there's a question on Zoom. Mm -hmm. Sakshi is to observe the presence and absence of senses in the body. But how can we apply Sakshi during an action? During action, this Anvayam Vetirika does not apply. It's not required to apply. Right? When in action, if you are completely 100% in action, that's called Karma Yoga. Karma Yoga is there's a doer, there's no doer and deed. There's no duality. There's only doing. <laughs> Where there's no duality, why should we apply Sakshi? So Vetireka comes when the doing stops, then you start thinking, oh, I did it. So that time becomes Sakshi of the thoughts. Is it clear or not clear? Uh, get it, can, if you can speak, I can understand. Either I can think or I can witness. Either I can think or I can witness. You cannot no, think. Say, when the question is coming about Sakshi, I don't think uh, what happens, uh, there is only experience, there is only knowing. Uh, I think that example doesn't apply here because Sakshi is always uh, about uh, the Anvaya and Vyatireka. No, 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 no. Where is the... When you're no, thinking no. about uh, this non-doership, uh, no naming, etc., that's uh, when we have to explain the karma yoga where there is no doership. And uh, doership is, uh, yeah. No, see, so I have already, first time, before I explained Anvaya Vitireka, I told how to apply Anvaya Vitireka. Did I? How so did I apply? How, yeah, how, how, how when an action is happening, when, a, when, when just seeing is happening, how do you apply in way of Vyatireka there? No, oh, no, don't apply there, I'm saying. So that's how what does I said. Sakshi concept come there? I'm saying, that's why I said, Nikhil, Nikhil said, ask me, when I'm doing something, how do I bring Sakshi? I said, don't bring it, I'm saying. So, I give the example of movie and screen. Did, did I give that? When the movie is going on, screen and movie cannot separate out, right? Hmm. You don't have to separate out Sakshi and action when you're doing something. You cannot because screen and movie are coming together. Are you clear? Yeah. Okay. Now the problem is not action. The problem is not doing. The doership is the problem. When does the doership come? Action is stopped because I'm naming the action. I am the doer and this is the deed, right? The naming is happening, right? What does doership uh, concept has to do with Sakshi concept? See, the doership, the moment I say I become doer, there's a subject-object duality comes into it, correct? Our problem is neither Sakshi nor doing. Our problem is duality is the problem. We are trying to address the problem of duality. If Sakshi is not there, it doesn't matter. Duality is our problem, correct? Hmm. In doing, is there a duality? If you're fully involved in music, is there a duality? No. Huh? Then no, why are you bothered? Sakshi is not there then. Uh, don't bother with Sakshi. I'm Sakshi is always there in the background, but I can't separate it out. The moment I separate it out, then the duality comes in the picture. No. Hmm. Are you kidding? What I'm saying? Yeah. See, don't bother. That's why I'm saying karma yoga, do hundred percent. Then don't even bother with Sakshi. The moment you say I did it, the doership comes. The moment doership comes, duality comes. Oh, this is what I did. People appreciate me or not. Correct? Hmm. Your problem is duality, not Sakshi, not doing. Are you clear? So now, we are trying to get rid of doership and ownership of the results. That's called Karma Yoga. Are you clear? Hmm. If you get rid of doership and ownership of Karma Yoga, then actions are there, but there's no doer. Then where is there a problem at all? No Karma, no. Right? Yeah. Our problem is the doership. The moment doership comes, it comes from the thoughts, right? Thoughts are coming, right? Hmm. So now, if you understand thoughts, all thoughts are mithya, will you bother about any thought? 
Huh? If all thoughts are mithya, if you understand once for all very clearly, will you bother about in thought? Even witnessing is also doesn't matter there. Thoughts come and go. How? Who cares? Correct? Can you witness a thought? I'm, no, don't even I'm saying. First understand thoughts are mithya. Yeah. Then don't give any importance, no? They come and go. The witnessing means see, not seeing thoughts. Witnessing means Observation, choicelessly. Come, go. I don't care. Just, I know. That's all. That is all. After the thought comes and goes, then there is a uh, awareness, choiceless awareness of that thought. Choiceless awareness is always there, no? Choiceless awareness is there. Our problem is choice, not choiceless awareness. Our problem is identification of thoughts and changing the thoughts. So I'll give you an example, right? You're going in your bike in the street, okay, road, okay? There are 10,000 things are going. Vehicle is going this way, going that way. Uh, not, you're not bothered. It's just going on. You're just aware that something is going on, correct? Mm -hmm. But somebody's honking at you. Pong, 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 pong. Then you're bothered. Then your recognition goes there. So you are choicelessly aware of 10,000 things happening in the street. But you get attracted to one honking which is happening to you. Correct? Hmm. Otherwise, you are choicelessly aware. You are not bothered what vehicle is coming, what which color vehicle is coming. Just you are aware that something is going on. Yes or no? Yeah. You are actually aware of 10,000 things with choicelessly. But one thing you get attracted. Oh, somebody is honking at me. Why is he honking at me? You will get angry. Correct? Hmm. So that one thing is called I thought, which is identification. So when you did the work, see, I am this so and so, I have so much of experience, I did so beautifully, that thought is what is causing problem for us. Nothing else. So yeah. that thought, if you understand it's mithya, you'll not bother about thought. If you are satya, observe it. The thought comes and goes. Yeah. So this is actually in the, when you are involved in the world. But when you are not involved in the world, sitting for meditation or silently, observe Anvaya anma Vetirika. The best place to observe Anvaya Vetirika is the energy patterns, either breath or heartbeat or energy pulsing in the heart, Adna Chakra, Sahasra Raga. That's the place you are observing Anvaya Vetirika. Anvaya Vetirika, when you observe, you know I am Brahman, I am Sakshi. More Anvaya Vetirika you observe at an energy level within your body mind complex, you are free. Then you will not get involved with thoughts. Yeah. Right. So, any other questions? Anybody? Dr. Vipin, clear? Okay. Yes, Guruji. Absolutely clear. Your problem is, how do I stay as Sakshi? First of all, it's not at all problem. So, it is not at all problem. <laughs> you always Sakshi. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was a wrong question, Guruji. It was, it was a wrong question. When are you yes. not a Sakshi? Tell me. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Huh? <laughs> the same example as road or driving the road, right? When you're going the driving the road, there are hundred yes. vehicles go this way, that way, somebody's going, somebody's honking, you're not bothered, right? Yes. So you're yes. you're not you're you are actually sakshi for ten thousand things which are going on. <laughs> yes, yes. But you're yes. you're you are bothered, somebody's honking at you, you become oh, oh, oh this bothers me. Then you have become then it's me. The me is the problem. <laughs> yes, good. Yes. So the Zoom question is, may the correct question is, how do I recognize myself as Sakshi? So how do I recognize myself as Sakshi? It's simple. Observe your energy pattern, up and down, Anvaya Vetireka. In Vetireka, Anvaya Vetireka, one who is observing Sakshi. That's all. But don't bring the thought. Oh, my heart is beating. The moment you bring the thought, you're actually not observing the energy. Hmm. Are you clear? Namelessly, yeah, yes, observe without giving a name. That's all, done. Is the answer clear, Gayatri? Okay. So we'll close for the day. Okay. Nikhil, any questions anymore? While we are meditating meditating on Ajna Chakra or while we are observing the energy, so it's a practice. But Anvaya Vetireka seems like it's not a practice. It's a... No, it, no, it's no, a, no, no. It's not a practice. A See, yeah. in Yoga Marga, it's a practice. You observe Adna Chakra, heartbeat or brain, whatever is that. Yoga Marga, it's a practice. Okay? Yes. 
in nana marga the same practice is uh, just remaining witness that's all you don't practice there you remember yes. you are getting dragged yes. by thought remember i am witness and keep come back that's all <laughs> yes so anvaya vidreka comes under gnana marga whereas yes. observing comes under yoga marga okay i'll tell you the difference okay but you seem to but you seem to uh, suggest adding anvaya vidreka into uh, while we are, while we are meditating because meditation comes under yoga marga right no 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 anvaya vidreka is nididhyasa in gnana marga yes so in nididhyasa you are not practicing something to get something hmm. nididhyasa is just remembering your self state hmm, in right. yoga marga please understand the difference in the yoga marga yoga marga they teach you have to do 8000 breaths per day up and down every day for next 10 years hmm. it's called practice yeah right so i am not at all saying practice i am not even saying 10000 times you have to do anvaya vidreka hmm. okay just do anvaya vidreka observe okay you are getting dragged by thought just remember that you are sakshi that's all it's not a practice to become sakshi it is just staying as sakshi by observing the energy did you get the difference nikhil uh, i don't know whether nikhil got dropped out nikhil are you there no you there ule tanu nikhil i think has gone into samadhi okay yes anybody else any questions okay thank you ji hari om hari hari om guruji hari om